Next, let's take a look at how we can edit the container backgrounds. Again, here for the first container, we have an image as a background. Then for the second container, we just have a white background. Then again, a white background. And then here we have another image. Now let's make some changes to the background of this top container. First, we have to select our container by clicking on the six dots right here. And then we wanna go directly to the style settings. And here we can see that the background type is currently set to classic. This means that we can either add a simple color as the background or we can add an image, which is currently the case for this container. Now to change that image, all we have to do is click on choose image right here. And then we, we can either choose an image from our media library or we can upload our own image. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to upload files and then we're just gonna drag and drop in an image that I want to use. Once it's uploaded, I'm gonna click on select. And now the image has changed to the new one. And when we scroll down, we can see that the position for this image is currently set to center center, which means that when the image doesn't fit the container perfectly, it will just center the image into the container. But if the top part of the image is more important, we can also show more of the top by changing this to top center, and then it will just show always the top of the image, or we can set it to bottom center if you wanna show the bottom of the image more, but I usually let leave it at center center. And then we have an attachment effect right here. So currently it's set to scroll, which means that the image will just scroll down with the page, but we can also set it to fixed, and then the image will stay fixed in place. And as you can see here, this will kind of give this effect where all the elements scroll up and the image will kind of stay the same in the background. But for now, I'm gonna set it back to scroll. Then usually you wanna leave the display size to cover to make sure the image covers the entire screen. And here under background overlay, we also get some useful options. For example, let's say we want to increase or decrease the brightness of this background here. What we can do is just add an overlay color and then play around with the opacity. So to make this a bit darker, what we can do is just click on the color option here and then just add a black color as an overlay over this image. And then here we can just play around with the opacity and make it all the way dark or we can make it a bit brighter by decreasing the opacity of this black color overlay. If you wanna make the background a bit brighter instead, we can just change the color here to a white and this will increase the brightness of the background. So this is how we can edit and play around with the background image, but we can also just set it to a simple color. So when we come back up here in the style tab and go to background, to add a simple color, we have to just delete the image that is currently set here. So to delete the image, we just click on the trash icon and this gives us the default color and we can change that right here. We can click on the color and then change it to any type of color that we like for our new background color. Or we can also go to our default colors by clicking on this globe icon and then just choose any of the default colors. Now we could also choose a gradient as a background by changing the background type to a gradient. And then here we can choose the first color. Maybe we're just gonna choose a white. And then for the second color, we can choose that here. We can maybe just choose a gray. And now we have this nice gradient as the background. And another very cool thing we can do here is add a video as a background. For this, we have to change the background type to video. And then the easiest way is to just upload your video to YouTube and paste in the video link to this field right here. I've just taken an example video that I found. And by just pasting in this URL, the video will start playing here as a background. Now, maybe you wanna have the video start at a specific time, then you can just enter the start time right here. Maybe I'm just gonna have it start at five seconds and then we'll end the video at 120 seconds. And then it will just play as a loop between the five second and 120 second timestamp. Now, whenever you add a video as a background, you definitely wanna add a fallback image. 
That's because sometimes the video doesn't play for some reason and then you want to have it display a specific image so that there's actually content in the background. So to add a fallback image, we just click on the plus icon here and then we can just add an image. So maybe we'll just add the cloud image that we've used before and click on select. And now if for some reason the video doesn't play, maybe it gets deleted, we just have this image as a background. And then down here for background overlay, we have the same options as before. So we can add an overlay color. Maybe we want to add a white color and then we can change the opacity to kind of brighten this video up. Or we can also um, just decrease the opacity right here. And then the last type of background would be a slideshow. So to do that, let's go back to the background tab here and then let's switch the background type to slideshow. And then here we can select our images by clicking on the plus icon. Here I'm just going to select some of the images I already have in the media library. Let's just take these four and click on create new gallery. Here we can also mess around with the order of the slideshow and then click on insert gallery. And now we have these images that will be displayed as a background and then it will just change the images every few seconds. And here we can set all the values for duration, transition, transition duration, and so on.